my name's Iona Rangeley and I'm the author of Einstein the Penguin, which is actually the first in a trilogy about Einstein, the second of which came out at the end of 2022. And as you can guess from the title, this is a book all about a penguin called Einstein. It's also about the family in London that Einstein comes to stay with. Um, so that's Mr and Mrs Stewart and Imogen and Arthur and the adventure they go on together, which is a sort of detective mystery adventure uh, with a long lost friend and also a villain. So I'm going to give you a quick reading from towards the start of the book. So this is when the family's been to the zoo, they've seen this penguin, they think he's great, and Mrs Stewart says to the penguin, come and stay with us whenever you like, but they don't really expect the penguin to show up on their doorstep. And then this happens. Imogen went to help her brother with the puzzle again. Then, about a minute later, the doorbell rang. Supper's nearly ready, Mr Stewart grumbled. Who goes ringing doorbells at this time? He stood up reluctantly from the sofa and went to answer the door. Um, Rachel, Mr Stewart's voice sounded nervously from the hallway a few moments later. Yes, dear, Mrs Stewart called. I was just wondering, Rachel, why there's a penguin at the door. A penguin, said Mrs Stewart. The children looked up from their jigsaw, looked at each other and then raced into the hallway. Their mother quickly followed. It was true, there was a penguin at the door. In fact, it was the very same penguin the children had seen at the zoo just a few hours earlier. And now it was waiting on the doorstep with a small blue rucksack and a patient expression on its face. You haven't accidentally ordered anything online, have you? Mr. Stewart asked. What, a penguin, said Mrs. Stewart. Well, there was that mix up last week with the tea bags. Yes, James, but a penguin? Mr. Stewart frowned. No, he said. I suppose that would be rather difficult, wouldn't it? The penguin looked at them blankly. Arthur coughed and tapped his mother on the arm. You did say, Mummy, that he could come to stay whenever he liked. Mrs Stewart looked alarmed. Why, yes, I suppose I did say that, but I didn't really mean... You should never say things you don't mean, Imogen piped up. Mr and Mrs Stewart looked at each other. So I'm so excited that Einstein the Penguin has been shortlisted for the Spark School Book Awards, um, particularly because this is a book award that's voted for by children. And I think as children, you spend an awful lot of time being told what grown-ups think you should read. But really, when authors like me write books for children, um, we know that the opinions that matter most are your opinions, the opinions of the kids who read them. So. I'm really happy that you like Einstein Penguin and if you haven't read it yet then I hope you enjoy reading it.